So I just want to ask you, on the end credits there, in the thanks, there was a thank you in French something, something of Nazis. Mm -hmm. Why, were you thanking Nazis? What's, what's that about? Uh, yes, it's a, it's a fan of the producer, Laurent Theron. And um, it's a fan of uh, Laurent, uh, if you want to escape. Laurent Theron, the producer of the movie. And it's an homage uh, to his uncle at the end of the movie. And maybe he can speak uh, better yeah. to that than... Uh, but at, at the end of the movie, when uh, Xavier uh, finished uh, the movie, the post production, my uncle, uh, my uncle passed away. And he was a, a, a guy who survived from the Second World War. He, he fought uh, twice. He was invited, he invited himself from a uh, concentration camp and everything. So just passed away at the end of the movie, so I, I wanted to make a tribute to him. So I want to ask you about uh, where the inspiration came from for this film, um, with the setting, the uh, political setting. Um, I mean, you, you have at the end of the film, our heroine escapes from so much horrible stuff to go right back into probably government-sanctioned horrible stuff. Can you talk about uh, your inspiration for setting up horror film in this period? Yeah. And it's um, that came from the second uh, president uh, in the um, 2002 in France. There is a presidential election, and uh, when at the end of the first term, the, um, arch the archive image you can see at the beginning of the movie are uh, inspired from, uh, and they are really uh, the true image of that first night. Uh, that first beginning of the nightmare in France when we have the extreme right came to the second term to the election and all the French uh, are like uh, it's like a revolution for us and a great fear because we don't want to um, to have the same life like in the second world war when uh, the French was occupied by the Nazi and uh, we have the fear that come back and uh, it's like a new beginning and uh, all the young French fight for, against that for, uh, for by chance and they don't pass the second term. And for me that came the first time, uh, that is the first time when I got the idea to speak about that and to make a movie who express that fear of uh, a new beginning of uh, that ideology. And um, I think it's really important to fight against the extreme like that. And uh, my only uh, possibilities is to make that movie and uh, I'm a great fan of genre movie, and um, a little bit like George Romero done, I have uh, put that movie in a political uh, place, and I have uh, expressed that uh, that story. Um, what can you tell us about uh, the lead actress who plays Yasmina? And the performance that she gives is incredibly intense. Um, where did you find her, and where did you find uh, the other actors who played her? Uh, young heroes. Um, <clears throat> for the young actress, Karina Testa, uh, when I have met her, there is uh, three years ago. I have uh, said to her, "Okay, you have to pass on the mud. You have to be covered of blood for 10, 15 days of uh, shooting. You have to cut your hair. Are you okay to come in?" She said, "Oh yes." Because she's completely perfect. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. No, she she's really happy to do that movie. And uh, during all the shooting, uh, she's so invest on the character of Yasmin because for her that was really important. Um, that movie exists because she want to say the same thing against the subtext of the story. And uh, every day is the first day I have saw her arriving of the shooting. She got um, a workman on the earth and uh, she stay on the, on the background of the set and she's blocked like that. Just uh, listen uh, Arabian, sad Arabian music to be in the character and to feel what people in any situation can feel. And uh, she stay uh, every day 10, 12, 15 hours crying, crying all the time to be in the character. And uh, at the end, she, had, uh, she was really happy to, to do the movie, and she was never uh, dubbed for uh, all the fights she done. Uh, she's completely uh, in the movie, and she has worked uh, four months before the movie to be on that performance. 
we have uh, any questions from the audience? Yeah, can you yell it out? I can't see it. I begin, um, I have make um, a, a nice answer, but short, <laughs> but uh, from uh, I'm birth in 1975, <laughs> and I have begun to make a homemade movie with some friend uh, at school. There is a zombie movie, vampire movie, uh, all our bloody movie, and um, after that uh, I have had some uh, people who said to me, hey, you know, you have to learn what is a set what is cinema, I've got 18 years old, and uh, they give me the opportunity to work like a trainee assistant director with um, his Troy Arc on a movie whose name is Double Team, and uh, with Rinder Lamb on Maximum Risk, and uh, when we have spoke this afternoon with Colin, it, there is a part of Maximum Risk who has shoot in Toronto too, and that was very funny. Uh, almost 15 years after my beginning, uh, coming back in Toronto to present my first feature film. And after that, I have made uh, some shortcuts, commercial and video clip. And um, there was three years ago, I have made a shortcut whose name is Adam, selected in the Venezia Film Festival and won some prize uh, in different festivals in the world. And that gave me the opportunity to make Frontiers. And after Frontiers, uh, it's man in the world.